Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So the video today, um, we're gonna assemble this block back together. It's a 1.9 TDI, as usual, <laughs> uh, with bigger pistons, uh, rods, uh, cylinder head, every, everything, everything you guys can think about, everything is here to assemble so we're gonna start from the bottom and i'm gonna show you how to assemble the bottom and what parts are gonna to use to assemble it and then we're gonna go to the cylinder head and then we're gonna go to the turbo and we go from there so today what we have here um very common corn rods or um, i think it's a corn rods the right name and these ones is standard i just take them off and put here for you guys to i just take the the rod off the piece and for you guys to compare uh, what's the difference between them so if you put this one over that one literally you can see is wider um on the top well it's a bit hard to record this the one from vacoma is wider here as well and they have lube on the um, piston i don't know the name they have lube on they have two holes here so for the oil to go in to help lubricate this um this thing here i don't know the name uh basically where this goes this goes here so they let oil go into this so we can loops around and it's a little bit the standard one it's a little bit heavier i don't have a scale to put them in the way but this one is is lighter but they they are a massive difference trust me um just to show you uh what's the difference so on them you know i'm not expert in rods or anything but i just want to show you because some people doesn't know what's upgrade rod looks like but there is you have the difference what they they look like if you put them like sideways definitely they are different see the design on them is you can't compare it but anyway the rods are done so it came with some irp uh, bolt studs bolts for for the rods as well to go on the rods, we have these caps. This is the um, OME stuff. So that's the best ones you can buy. It. And these the more expensive as well, trust me. So for the crank, standard crank, like you guys know, we don't do anything to the crankshaft just yet. Uh, only thing you need to do, clean everything up. Make sure all the holes is is unblocked it, and make sure if there's not any marks on these areas here, um, it's all nice and clean. Then you have the standard uh, things to go on the top, and then we have the trust washers to stop the crank go side to side. And then you have again the bearings, the crank bearings. So now go to the pistons. So we have the pistons here. I think this is the biggest pistons you can buy. Um, the build machine, if you guys see here, this is not standard. They just cut two mil down to make a um, the valve you know the, the valve can open a little bit more because you got more more home here and they obviously they machine the hole here as well for 42 millimeters and so and so so the pistons is the, this is the make for the pistons and for the, the bottom end we have a new oil pump as well 
fire oil pump that's the best one i can i can get uh, new crank seal l ring i believe crank seal what else yeah we have the old bits here and um, what else what else we have for the crank i think that's it we have the oil jets here we just cleaned the oil jets on my machine um with the oil jets they have like a valve inside this let me see if i can can show you they have like a valve how can i how can i do this with one hand only <laughs> Yeah, they have like a valve here. You have to make sure that valve is in is is free. Um, the best way to do that, just put some air through here. Make sure they come out on the sides. And make sure the actually jet is is in is in blocked. It. So that's that's for the bottom end and let's build the bottom and then we go for the head when we build the, the bottom and so um, let's do it this is the oil jet so the way i clean them just put the airline over here and they should come out the older. you have to make sure the air comes out of this if it doesn't you're gonna end up damage the piston because what what this does this one goes here when the piston comes down they they just spray oil into this and goes around to the piston ring if if, if this doesn't spray oil the piston the piston ring gonna um, it's gonna damage the piston ring the block and whatever it is it's gonna it's gonna damage the engine so you, when you're building an engine you have to make sure this isn't blocked otherwise it's gonna cost you a lot of money so clean this put it back together and off you go and that's where they sit they sit just on this corner like that they go flat to the sides and you just need to torque them down there is the oil jet. If you guys can see it, the the oil jet goes straight into the um, into this hole to go around on the piston ring, and the oil will come out on the board. So to stop seize seize the um, the piston. Uh, I think the piston the wrong way around. Anyway, uh, I'll show you the other way around. But I have one hole on each side, so the oil comes in and goes out. And another thing you have to watch attention, you have this gap. This is where is the 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 oil jet sits. If you look here, the this gap that's where the oil jet goes. You can't put the piston the other way around. Otherwise, when the piston comes down, gonna hit the oil jet and game over. So let's crack on and need to tighten these bolts i haven't tightened them yet and put the crank in the cap is in place did put the um, thrust washers in as well i'm going to show you how to put the thrust cap they dead easy to go on in place just go like that just put straight there and then press it down slowly on this end and there he is is in place so don't forget the thrust washers so now i need to put some oil or pre-lube on the caps and put the crank on so on this one the same procedure just put the cap there and just slide it in normally i put a little bit of oil or pre-lube just goes around like that on all of them uh, 
and all of them they have the number underneath that's the number five and they have the right order to do, to go on the engine as well so and this one is a tricky one to do because you have to put the this um forgot the name of it trust washer on here and trying to slide the engine same time so it's one on each side that's the right way normally again i just put some oil like this and oil will help them stick it to to his place as well on the bolts i normally put a little bit of oil on the ends as well just to help them tight better now i need to put this in in the block i'm gonna start from the number one Where's the, that's the number two, that's the number one, I'm just going to slide it in, see how it goes. So number one on the number one, put some oil on the crank. Number one goes on the number one. If I can find the number, that's the number four, we'll do it. Number four. One, two, three, four. The number four. Let's do the number three. I'm going to show you guys how to do the number three. Yeah, they fully loop. Have oil all over the place so that this one is a tricky one because you have to put with the things in place so there we go it's pretty much in there and just carry carry on like that Before we go into the torque procedure, I always like to fit the, the crank pulley in place. Fit this in place so we can do a few turns, see if it's moving freely. It has to move freely, otherwise there will be something wrong. Something wrong. So, there we go guys. Just move freely. So now we're gonna torque this to the torque spec. So first of all, uh, 65 newtons and all of them. And the way you are gonna do is 65 on, the, on this, 65, 65, 65, 65. I'm gonna Start from the middle and work the way out. When you guys are done with the 65 newtons, just double check just to see if the crank is still moving if it doesn't have play in or out or anything so now we need to go 90 degrees I need to find the gouge so 90 degrees in all of them and that's how our crank is going to be done just keep putting a little bit of oil on it don't be scared to put oil
So now we're going to do 90 degrees. So now we're gonna do 90 degrees. Make sure you have the tool all nice and straight. You can't miss on these bolts. If you missed, the, the bolts need to go on the bin and new ones again. So 90 degrees on that. And I need to set the tool again, 90 degrees. Well, set to zero so I can do 90 degrees. Ninety degrees. I'll show you. Yeah, you guys can see. Um, guys, don't lose the tracks, the track of the bolts you tighten. If you doing this and go to something something else, and if you don't remember which bolts you stop on, better to release all and do it again. Otherwise, if you leave these bolts loose, you know what's going to happen. So I'm going to do all of them now and then we're gonna have to build the pistons in the rods and fit the pistons in So now we're going to assemble the pistons on the rods. Just I want to show you some difference on the pistons. If you compare one to the other, you can see the holes in the middle. They are much, much bigger. If you guys can see it. They are much, and if you put one on the top of the, another one, you can literally see if you go run. They are uh, focus. They are bigger. This one is 79 mil or 79 and a half. I can't see the letters, but this one is 81.45. 81.45. So much bigger. I think that's the bigger size you can get. But just to give you an idea, but from the bottom. They are exactly the same. This is Mahal original. So, so already put one clip on one side. What I'll do normally before I put the clip, I put a little bit on pre lube on this pin here. And then I'll put a little bit on the rod as well. Just put your finger in and it goes around um, and try careful put the rod in and just slide it through slowly you have to be able to put this by hand if you're not able to slide this by hand there's something wrong with it so it's all in now we need to put this clip it's quite a tricky one to to do but we have to do it so normally what i'll do i'll just put the clip like this we turn this way to see if you guys can see how i'm doing so i'll just put them like that just with the fingers and press it down a bit and I have this little screwdriver or yeah little screwdriver try and pull it in it happened when this can take a few attempts because they really hard clips
and this is a problem you can have sometimes you fit on one side and it comes out on, on the other one but you have to let's try it the other way you have to do until you got the clip in so There it is. It's in place. Like you guys can can see it. Clip is there. And this cap normally I use to take the clip off. I'm not gonna take the clip off because I'm gonna struggle to put the clip back on. But this one normally I use to take the clip off. Um, and I do never leave this cap this gap to this place in just in case the clip falling off and you don't want to be the clip falling off so one is in place so we need to go ahead and do the other ones So um, the pin is all in, you have to make sure this moves nice and freely, it's all in place. Um, now we're going to fit these cups on here. So before you take this off, you have to take attention to the number. So the number needs to be exactly the same way, you cannot take this and turn it to the other side. Because you could end up in pro with problems. And these cups, they have the right way to do it. No, just put the cups in and off you go. If you notice here, you have them on different colors. And they say here somewhere, sputter. Uh, I don't know if you guys can... See what it's saying, sputter. Yeah, you probably can see right here. It's saying sputter. So the sputter, so the darker one, it goes on the top of the rod. Yeah, and the other one, the bright one, doesn't say anything. Just some few numbers. It doesn't say sputter. Goes on the bottom. So and so and so, I'll show you. They are different, so they are different. I'll show you another one here. Yeah, so this one goes on the rod, this one goes on the cap. You can't mix them and um, you can buy some some um, bearings or cups or whatever you want to call they don't have the right way to to go but this specific make they do wrap them the the right way to go to go i'll show you on the standard rod as well um where is it here i just pulled the things out a bit if you see this one on the top it's kind of dark silver and this one like a brighter silver so it but I, this one here it doesn't say sputter i don't think no it, the only thing only thing he's saying is zaudi but doesn't say sputter but this one's from the top and this one's from the bottom. Yeah, you, you can really tell by the color. So this one is that one. And the other one, the other one, that's the wrong one, is this one. So yeah, darker silver on the rod, the other one is on the cap. Don't forget guys. And if you need, 
if you need something or if you have any questions just leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them That's top and this is bottom. Just trying to leave them on the center. Yeah, but before you put them on the car, just put a little bit of um, oil, put a little bit of oil here, oil there, and then you're gonna have to put a little bit of oil in the piston rings, but I'll take you through that um, on the second. So this one, when you're putting this back, you can't just put that way. The letters need to match with the other letters. I don't know if you guys can see here, you probably do. So, and then just put this on for a bit. Um, I'm gonna put the two bolts on here. So when it gets time to fit on there, you just put the two bolts off, slide the piston in and put the bolt back on. So guys, now all the rods are assembly, so you guys have to pay attention uh, because all four pistons, the two are the same, the two are different. The two pistons goes on the number one and two, and two pistons goes on the three and four. Now I'm going to show you the difference. I already marked the pistons, so it makes it easier for me. I think you guys are able to see the numbers I made, one and two. So the one and two piston goes like this. Now let's see, I can show you this properly. So they go um, exhaust, intake, and between the number two and four, the piston change. I'll find the four piston. So that's the four piston, four piston, or the third. They go intake, exhaust. So the potholes for the valve, they change because they normally on the normal engine, the, all the pistons is the same. They go uh, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake. This one, no, this one goes exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. You can, you guys can literally see on the still in the head. Exhaust, intake, exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. So um, be aware, guys. Uh, two pistons are for the number one and two, and the, the other two for the number three and four and the best way to do that is to mark the piston before you assemble the piston like I did so you don't you don't screw it all up and then you have to to take everything off so now I'm gonna compress the piston rings and take you through how to fit them the pistons on the block so guys the first thing I'll do is put a little bit oil or pre lube on the piston rings all the way around and then we're gonna have to rotate the piston rings one for each side trying to split the um, the gaps between between them so this one a little bit this side so one end up here, one end up here, and another one end up there. So now we need to fit this tool to compress the piston rings. So actually can fit on the block.
all in I think so now we're gonna have to take this thing don't forget this number needs to match with this when you put the rods back I'll just take this off quickly and normally what I do is put a little bit of oil here again splash around with with the finger and time to build into the, um, the block so when I'm building this into the block pay attention on this because this needs to go for the oil jet so they're gonna go like this slide it all in piston halfway through um, this is a plastic hammer it's not hard plastic normally I'll do like this on the actually tool themselves and I'll try to tighten a little bit more if it goes and yeah I think it's at maximum and now with the soft then I'm going to pull the piston down. Here we go, piston all in, I'll show you guys. The piston all in. So now I'm going to do the number four, because the crank is on the position I like to just slide the piston in. And then I'll turn the crank call, uh, the crank again to put the other two the other two in place. So two pistons are in. So now we need to put the rods in place before you put them the pistons all the way down. Uh, I think you guys are able to see. One is in place. Another one is in place. Show you a bit closer. Two pistons in place. <clears throat> so guys, bear in mind, this is the way I do. You know, I always fit two and then put the cups in turn it around and fit another two all the way to, to the bottom. But some people do different, you know, it, it doesn't matter which way you do, it, it doesn't mean you're doing wrong. You know, so um, that's the way I do. So I think I'm doing my way and I think it's the right way to do it. So guys, all the rods are in. Don't forget, you can't mix the, um, the caps on the rods. So the ones you're taking off needs to go back to exactly the same place. They have numbers on the side. You can see where they belong. So all the pieces in. So we're going to tie the, the rods now. 75 newtons. Uh, that's what the manufacturer said to, to tie them. Manufacturer, the rods, not the engine, because this is a great rods. So set 75 newtons. Quite a bit to be fair. Again, I do the two on the ends and then I'll turn the engine and do the other two. Turn the crank. with another two. So, so then, so now we need to put the oil pump in 
some trays, then seal on the front. But yeah, guys, you're going well. So oil pump is in place, 15 newtons on the three bolts. Make sure you have the two guides on, e on each side. So guys, the block, the bottom end, whatever you want to call, is all assembly, all assembled, oil pump is in place. When you do the oil pump, don't forget, here, needs to, um, to have a seal, I fit the seal in, I haven't mentioned before, but it has to, to put the seal there. Ideally, it should be replacing for a new one, um, this seal in place. The oil, oil pump is in place, oil chain, tensioner, the piston is in place. So I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. The next video will be fitting this seal in the head, made by, by um, AMC, made by AMC. But it's been all machined by Vaikoma. Vaikoma, I don't think it's, it's the wrong way around. Uh, yeah, it's been... It's brand new still in the head by AMC, made by Vaikoma. You know, the portings and bigger valves, the stem, the, the seals and everything by Vaikoma. So um, the next video will be assembling this seal in the head into this block hope you enjoyed the the video leave a like it below and like and subscribe it like always